the first thing that we're going to do is remove this weather stripping. It's going to allow us to get access in these panels. To remove the weather seal, all you're going to want to do is pull it towards you or pull it away from the car. So just grab it and pull it from the groove that it sits on. The first panel that we need to remove is the one on the side of the dash here. So take a pry tool and you're just going to want to pop it out of the clips that it sits in. It's easiest to go from the back and pull the bottom up and then you can go from the front once it's out and start pushing it out of place. And then it should come off like that. It's just being held in with these clips over here. Once that's removed, we can get rid of this panel. Similar thing, it's just held in by clips. So go in from the top and push it away from the car. You're gonna wanna start from the top because it has these clips up here. The bottom one is kind of like a curve in. So you're gonna want to pop it out and then pull it up. Not towards you, but you wanna pull it up from where it sits right there. This one's being held in by a bolt, but the bolt is underneath this panel. So we're gonna have to remove this panel first and then we can get to that. So the next thing that we want to do is remove this lower panel. It's being held in by clips again. So you can use a pry tool or your hands and go from the bottom underneath of it and just start pulling up on it. And it'll come out just like that. The next thing that we're going to remove is this last panel that's on here. It has a bolt at the very bottom that we're going to need to remove first before we can pull it off. We're gonna use a T20 bit, put it in here and remove this bolt. From there, the panel is just going to slide off. It's being held to the car with these side clips and then these big clips in the middle. We're gonna need to look at the connections that are behind this carpet. So we need to pull back on the carpet. It just sits against the car. So pull it away from the car. Once you've pulled back the carpet and you're inside of here, you see this big white clip right here. This is what we're going to deal with first. Behind it, use your finger and press a little tab. It's going to release the lock that it has to the two clips and you're simply going to pull them away from each other. So now you have it disconnected. 